Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be focused on turning characters into a frame, or should I call objects as well. So for example, we could just go right now and turn a Ferrari into a frame using Canva and Photopea, which is not something that you can do with Canva alone, because Canva's frames are limited. There's only a certain amount of frames that you can use. Now, this is one of the results that you can do. And when I said objects, objects, animals, human beings, anything can be turned into a frame. And you'll see how that can be done. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? So here we are inside of canva.com. I'm going to go ahead and actually go and grab a custom size uh, file of 16 by 9 inches. That's what I'm going to aim for. And what I'm going to go ahead and do basically is just select something. So I'm going to select a Ferrari. We could create a, a park about a park of Ferraris, you know, a frame about a park of Ferraris if we so desire. But I'm just going to go ahead with elements and I want you to do the same thing. So go and look for Ferrari. There is a specific trick that you must do in order for this to work. And that's exactly why I am here, because I'm going to teach you that. And here we got a lot of Ferraris. So, for example, if I go to photos here, there's a bunch of Ferraris, depending on which one you want to use as a frame or create a frame um, this particular Ferrari. So I think I found my Ferrari. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So now that I have this image, first and foremost, I want you to click edit image and remove the background. Now, of course, if you don't have this background removal option, you can use the website BG remover, like I said many times, or remove.bg, I'm sorry, remove.bg. And just the fact of me searching BG uh, showed the website ranking first. So remove.bg or simply come over to apps and search for this very simple app, which is called um, Background Eraser. You just can search for it inside of Canva and you can upload whenever, whatever image you want to upload to it and it will go ahead and proceed to remove the background for you. So for instance, this is Background Eraser. You click it. You'll know it by the mutton that is shown as the hero of this app. It's a mutton or in French, in French mouton. Uh, so right now, as you can see, this is my Ferrari. Assuming you've removed the background off, off of it. Now, in order to take the background or to turn this into a frame as it is, it doesn't work like this. We have to turn this pitch black. We have to make it entirely black. And for that to work, you need to come over here to edit the image and simply come over to Duotone. This is a, uh, a great effect inside of Canva that very pe rare people use. I'm going to click custom or anyone uh, really, but I just selected custom and I'm going to come over here to this first color, change it back to black. Now, if you make it uh, a, a grayish, it's not going to work. So I'm going to make it purely black. All right, click custom, click here, make this color purely black. Well, that's the problem, I'm trying to select black, but it's playing with me. Okay, so now this is good. Now I have my Ferrari. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to crop the extra edges that we don't necessarily need to make this Ferrari as big as I, I possibly can make it. So I'm going to take the Ferrari right over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and be making it bigger like so. Now we have our Ferrari. So what I want you to do is just place it in the center and make sure you come over here and you can name this Ferrari. And what I want to do, I want to share this image and download it with a transparent background. Again, if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to use the transparent background, but you can download it with a background. Then go to remove BG or to the app and download or up import your image with the background have the background removed, and then you can do the rest. So now we have the image it's a image with a transparent background. Now I can take it back to Photopea. So here we are in Photopea. Now this time around, I'm just going to go and basically refresh the Photopea web page. All right, it's photopea.com. So first thing is first, I'm going to click File, click Open, and then after I do this, I just want to go ahead and click here on Ferrari. So this... So after I've clicked it, it will basically show us our Ferrari. What I want you to do is to click control, click this one and click control while, while you're doing it. Control click and make sure you go to paths and then click right here on selection to path. Right after we do this selection to path, it created a work path for us, which is really good. So click layer right here at the top, scroll down to vector mask and click on current path. Now, once we have done so, that's pretty much it. I just want to need want to create click on file, export as PDF, and now we can get going. So, export this as a PDF. Again, don't touch anything here. And then click save. Now, once that is done, 
you can now go back into your Canva project. Now we can just get rid of this page here by just removing it. I don't need it anymore. And now I want you to go ahead and drag this particular Ferrari uh, frame. Next, we're going to create a tank frame. Of course, if we can find a tank in uh, a beautiful tank image. Now there's our PDF. I'm going to click it and right click detach image. Click enter to remove that. And now we have a Ferrari as a frame. And what you can do right now is you can come over here and you can click on this Ferrari image and you can paste it. Right. You can just click and, and add it. And now you can see that it kind of adds the image. And now you can just take that particular image and, and play with its placement. So you can place it differently. So if I double click like this, it's showing me where the Ferrari is. And I can place it right inside of the, the Ferrari, making it seem like it's inside a Ferrari inside of a Ferrari frame. And it looks really interesting, doesn't it? Okay. So now this is just one of those things you can do. You can also come over here to videos. You can find yourself a video of a Ferrari or something. Uh, so for example, here, uh, instead of Ferrari, I could say racing car, you know, and there's a lot of videos about racing cars. And you can, for example, take this one right, right here and drag it in. And you can see that there is a wheel and everything looks pretty good, right? So that's one of those things you can do. So this is the frame about a racing car. Now let's try another, uh, another racing video like this one, for example, and watch this. Now, if you might ask me, how did you turn those into GIFs? How did you turn them into GIFs with a transparent background? Well, that was not difficult. Let me show you. I'm going to click right here on share, download. And right here, instead of MP4, I want you to turn this into a GIF by clicking GIF. Obviously, again, in this case, you don't have access to transparent background if you don't have the Canva Pro version. Obviously, I'm going to click transparent background and click download. But you can download this one as a GIF, except for it will not be with a transparent background. That's why Canva Pro, and I'm not preaching it, by the way, if you go, you will find I'm not sharing any Canva Pro affiliate link, even though I could do it, but I'm not doing it. I'm not a Canva affiliate by any means, but I'm paying $50 a year on Canva and it's completely worth it. And I see a lot of people spending a lot more money than that on cheap software, not cheap software, cheap in value uh, and basically uh, very expensive in cost software that doesn't do anything, you know? Uh, why would you need a software that would probably just um, tell you, uh, give you a speculation of what keywords rank higher on Pinterest? When in reality, we all know that very, very few software is going to be able to, is going to be able to tell you that information. But still, a lot of people believe that, you know, this software will tell me what's ranking, what's trending, what's going to get me to views. We just like to decide based on those things. Actually, Canva it's really amazing what they give you for $50, you know, because when you boil it down, it's about $4.5 a month. And it's, it's really incredible what that can, can help you do. You know, I pay $45, $50 per month for the, the internet. And for me, Canva is more valuable than the internet to say the least. So now the, the GIF, the GIF can take time by the way, uh, before it downloads, but when it downloads, of course it will download in my case with a transparent background. And I can then use it in other designs. So I can take that particular GIF. I can put it on a video. I can add a, a, a dark background in the background. I can do amazing things with it, you know? And so uh, hence why these frames are really interesting for anyone uh, to, to create. All right, watch this. So now this turned into a GIF. And most importantly, it's not just any GIF. It's a GIF inside of a frame. And watch this. This is really interesting, right? can see how this plays out Re really does look very, very good and watch this, right? So this is really interesting stuff. Okay. So now let's go and create some more interesting frames, shall we? So here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and eliminate this. Obviously let's go and look for a tank. So this time we're going to create a tank. Next, we're going to create a boat frame. So this is the tank. Now the good thing here is that there's tanks all over the place. I see them. And there's tanks with transparent background, which is also very interesting for you, except for there are some with transparent background, but they're pro. So uh, let me see. This, these ones are free. This one is free. You just have to remove the background off of it. Now, assuming I like this frame, assuming I like this tank or this tank, whatever tank you want. First of all, as we said earlier, you go and click edit image 
And you must use the duo tone effect and make sure that you go to custom size and then go, go ahead to highlights and basically drag the highlight down to black color. Now we have our, our tank in black color and now we can get working. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. So now we have our tank. Now I'm gonna go ahead here and just name this as tank, okay? And then go over to share, download, and make sure this is a PNG in a transparent background and then click the download button. Once that is said and done, now I'll take this to Photopea. So I'll go back to Photopea. Again, I'll just refresh. And by the way, there is a pizza here from Red Baron, which looks really tasty. Now I'm gonna click a uh, file and open. And basically what I will just do simply is go ahead over here and get the tank. Click the tank, it will open up. Now, once you open up the tank, make sure you do the following steps. Click control, then click right here on, the, on this uh, element. Click paths, scroll down and click here on this selection to path. Make sure you go over here, click layer, scroll down, click vector mask, click current path current path okay so once you click on current path your job is done go back here and click on file click export as pdf and once you do that that's it we got our pdf now all we need to do is to click save and that's it all right so now once we do that now i want you to go back into your uh, canva project and just eliminate this and now I can go back over here and then basically drag this tank. All right. So once I dragged this particular tank, PDF, I could click this. I could also right click and detach the image, make sure I eliminate it now. And I can go then go ahead and create a, another interesting GIF. So I can go to click click um, uh, tank or war, or whatever you want to want to do. And you can go to videos. And now there's videos of real tanks. So for instance, let's say I click this one over here and then I place it. Now, this is obviously a tank generated by AI. I'm pretty sure they used uh, maybe Leonardo AI or probably uh, Runway ML. Uh, and you can see that now it really does look pretty interesting. I could play this. Now, this is 30 seconds. So I'm going to go to playback here. You have the playback option. You can speed the video twice. Now it's only 15 instead of 30 seconds. Plus, you can, you can come over here to the trimming option. And you can just trim it, you know, just keep just a little bit, a little, not a little bit, not that much. Click done when you're done and then click share, download. And you can download this as an MP4 video or a GIF. In my case, I'll download it as a GIF with a transparent background because I like to keep these as tokens that I could use later. There you go. I have a look at this. This is beautiful. I think this is really interesting. Plus, people can zoom on this. And like I said, again, you can try, you, know, you can find out how to use this. Uh, for a particular uh, design or whatever you want to use it for. Now, let me just close this for a second. And now let's go and create another frame. This one is a boat. So uh, if I come over here to elements, let me look for boat. All right, let me try to find a big boat, you know, something big. Um, okay, so we have a couple of boats. Uh, but we do have, uh, for instance, this one is really good boat. I could click it just so they can show me a couple more boats that look like this. Um, we have this one as well. This is a yacht. Um, let me remove this, remove this. Okay, so why not? Let's just look for a yacht. You know, let me just remove this one. All right, so we have some pictures of some yachts. Uh, I've yet to find a yacht that is perfectly isolated. Uh, no. Okay, let me try something else. Titanic. Let me try the Titanic, for instance. You know, try to find a big boat. I kind of like this. Uh, this one would do. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but let me just keep looking around. If I don't find anything, I'm just going to use this one. Okay. All right. So I think that this one is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit the image. And of course, I'm going to use the duotone effect. And down here, I'm going to click custom. And I'm going to make sure that the first color, the highlight color is black. And that's pretty much that. Now I'm going to say, Titanic, and then I'm going to go over here, click on the share button, download with a transparent background, and then click the download button. And that is pretty much that. So now I'm going to go back into Photopea and then hit the 
enter button. All right, so I'm gonna click here on file and then I'm gonna go ahead and click open. And now this is gonna allow me to pretty much open a new file, which is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Titanic. And that is pretty much that. So after I open the Titanic image, I'm going to just come over here and click on control, then select the image. And then I'm gonna to go to paths. I'm gonna click on selection to path. And after I've done that, I want you to go to layer, hover down and click on vector mask, click current path. And you can see that this is really cool, except for, you know, this line was not really perfect, but it's okay. Now I'm going to click on file here and I would like to click export as PDF. Okay. So now that we exported this as a PDF, I'm going to click save. And now let's go ahead and implement this. So let's go back to our Titanic design. I'm going to remove this one from here. Let me just get rid of it. And now let's just go, let's just go over here and drag the Titanic PDF, right? It contains our frame. Now, I think I clicked by mistake on the Ferrari frame. All right, there it is. There is the Titanic frame. Now I'm going to apply it and then detach this image. Now we have the frame itself. And now we can go over and we can find some, you know, element in elements. We can look for Titanic or boats, boats, go to videos. There's plenty of uh, resources to go around. And you could probably use something like this, for example, and drag it here inside of the frame. And you can see how interesting this looks, you know, looks like there is the sea and it's in, inside of a boat, which is really cool. I like it. So that is pretty much that for this particular video. I'll see you in the next one in which we're going to continue creating some awesome frames.